to tax-exempt havens. And so we need to drag that money back in. It's time for the globalist, General Electric, Google, Apple. It's time for the Fortune 100, Lockheed Martin. All of you guys, America built you, gave you the power over the planet, and now you want to sink it so you can politically control it? No. You are going to send that money back in here. You took that money out of this country, you're going to bring that money back into this country. We've spent trillions of dollars the last 20, 30 years plus propping up all these countries, giving them free money, doing all this, and now America is falling apart. Bring it back. It needs to be more than 10%. I mean, Obamacare, that's why I get so violently angry when I think about it. Massively increasing taxes on people making less than $17,000 a year, shutting the economy down, and they have all these fake liberals on TV talking about how it's there to help poor people. Yeah, help them like shoving a double-edged dagger between their ribs and their lungs. We'll be back with more news. Stay with us. Audi admits 2.1 million cars have Volkswagen emission cheat device. Oh, Audi? Oh, BMW? Oh, oh the Europeans were cheating? Oh, what? What, two weeks ago, the day this broke, two and a half weeks ago, I'm on record obnoxiously saying, guaranteed within a few weeks, you're going to hear, and then I began listing all the other German automakers and the EU automakers because they all are in committees. They all get green-lighted before they do stuff like this. This is how these criminals operate. They would not engage in such a giant fraud with these kill switches inside the cars to give false data unless it was sanctioned. That's how these crooks operate. Interpol doesn't have low-level people shipping kids on aircraft around the world. It's authorized from the top, and that's come out. Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, Wachovia, all the rest of them don't run white slavery flights, torture flights, rendition flights, cocaine flights, heroin flights, ecstasy flights, prescription pill flights, weapons flights in and out of major Air Force bases and U.S. bases and other bases without full White House, State Department certified authorization. You understand that? The people that run our government grab little kids out of backyards, torture them for a few months, and then blow their heads off. You mean to pull up the mainstream news articles about it? The snuff film industry, all of it, the people running things see you as animals, like a slice of meat, a T-bone steak you buy at Safeway. I don't mean to go off on a jag. It's just, I know the enemy. This is all I do. I know their tricks. I know their actions. I know what they're doing. Oh, Green has never felt so right with the Green Police. In fact, can we cue it up by the Green Police, please? Here it is out of Newsweek. Audi admits 2.1 million cars. I test drove an Audi. One of the little fast ones. I didn't get one. Uh, talk about a rocket ship. And, and, I, I, and I've seen people drive. I've seen the exhaust coming out of those. Those don't have the emissions they claim. They're rocket ships. Audi admits 2.1 million cars have Volkswagen emission cheat device. And now they're claiming that the Hitler cheap device came from Volkswagen, so they're the epicenter of it. The luxury car company, Audi, has admitted that 2.1 million of its cars worldwide were fitted with the same software that allowed the people's wagon to cheat U.S. emissions tests as the biggest scandal in the company's 78-year history continues. <clears throat> there are cheating devices in every major smart meter made by more than five companies we've looked at. Every cell phone has microphones, cameras listening and watching to you. All the new smart TVs do. All the new appliances do. It's all fed back to AI computers. We've done tests around the office where we put our cell phones in a room. We're going to videotape this now. We, we've got the patents. We know what's going on. And then we just sit around talking about, I think I'm going to buy a black desk. Yeah, with a leather top. Yeah, a black desk, leather top. I want to buy some furniture. I want to buy some furniture. And within an hour, all our phones, Droid or iPhone, start showing us leather desk, leather top desk. I mean, it, they're listening. <laughs> you understand? Why not? If you're going to commit crimes at this level, why not go to warp, warp, warp?
Double warp. There's Forbes. Is your TV spying on you? Yes, it is. We can pull up the patents. They're doing it. They're doing it. So if you want to shut down the free market worldwide of your giant robber baron combines, you bring in corporate control, you buy off the universities, you buy off the courts, you put your politicians in place, then you bring in a global carbon regime taxing all human activity. You put massive taxes on water vapor and carbon dioxide, and then you exempt yourselves. Just like the French socialist ruling party, remember it broke three years ago, and then no one got in trouble? Almost everyone in the ruling party was caught with giant Swiss bank accounts and pay zero taxes federally. The EU bureaucrats publicly have a law that they don't pay any EU tax, but everyone else does. Just like General Electric expanded power plants the last seven years under Obama, six and a half years. Expanded coal power plants, everyone else got shut down. A $3 billion oil refinery built over a decade in Corpus Christi, not allowed to open. Isn't that cute? But then these other big globalist companies, why they can open up refineries in other parts of the world and ship the gasoline into America. That's how they keep gas prices up, even though they've lowered the price of oil. Gas, as much as oil is a barrel right now, what is it, $45 a barrel or something? Let's check what crude is today. Brent crude. What's Brent crude today? Not sweet, but, but Brent crude. Not light oil, not sweet. Brent crude. $47.50. At that amount, for how long it's been hovering in the 40s, we should be paying about a dollar, maybe a dollar a gallon, and that's with taxes. But notice you're not. And that's because, again, the New World Order doesn't let us have new refineries. And the Associated Press sued, to its credit, back when we still had some free press in this country, in 2001 and got thousands of pages of documents from 96 and 97 where the big 10 oil companies met in the United States and decided to shut down oil refineries and to shut down small refineries and to shut down the new building of refineries and to fund the environmental movement to do it. You know who runs the carbon tax push? You know who gives more money than any other institution? Goldman Sachs. Guess who next gives the most money in a consortium of giving? British Petroleum and Dutch Royal Shell are the second largest funders of carbon tax global warming baloney. And then when I get up and criticize carbon taxes, the brain-dead liberal trendies send me emails saying, I know you're paid off by the oil companies. That's how stupid you are. That's how dumb you are. That's how mindless you are. That's how helpless you are. That's how pathetic and arrogant you are. Is that you are just absolutely turned over to fraud and lies and scams and you love it. You love it. And so... Europe's cheating on its emissions. It's leaked. It's going to come out that every major European manufacturer is doing this. I'm not saying they're all going to have the Volkswagen fraud because Audi is a subsidiary of the people's wagon. But you will have similar cockamamie systems to do this because I've never seen a complex tech device that didn't have Trojan horses laid into it. I remember being told... 13 years ago by an engineer, 14 years ago, that it didn't matter if computers weren't hooked to the Internet, that all computers that had been made in the last decade or so, so this is, I guess, 20 years. He was telling me 13, 14 years ago that in the last decade, so that'd be 20 years back or more, they all had transponder chips, capacitor chips in the chips that could be remotely powered by an energy wave that's fired at them so that then the government could download the encrypted data off of it and compress it. So your computer is more high tech than you even know. You're paying 
for phones and computers and appliances way more than they should cost. That Intel and others have secret NSA contracts and are putting the capacitor chips in all the computers. And I've talked to family that's worked at major silicon manufacturers in California and in Austin. And the government comes in, the guys with the bunny suits are kicked out, people come in, they don't even know what the government's putting in them. There it is, snooping. It's not a crime, it's a feature. New apps hijack the microphone to your cell phone to listen to your life. See, it's all fun and happy. But let's go back and, and, and look at the Intel chips. Secret 3G Intel chip gives Snoop's backdoor PC access. And again, the chip is energized remotely, even when your computer's off. They can order it, too, if it needs more power to download your whole computer. It will scan it to see when the computer was last turned on. Has an algorithm that you must not be home. They now have more sophisticated algorithms where they get data over power line. They can also take your computer over that way. It's not hooked to the internet, but it's hooked to a power cord. It then goes in, decides you're not there, fires the computer up, and then gets all the data. <laughs> so loving. I remember telling you over a decade ago, not bragging, just telling you that DARPA was putting implantable microchips in PTSD soldiers' brains and giving them vaccines that basically ate part of their brain. And now today, it's in the news that DARPA is putting brain chips in people. It was already in the medical journals. All I'm telling you is we don't make this stuff up. There it is, fusion. DARPA is implanting chips in soldiers' brains. According to this new book, oh my gosh, give them a Pulitzer Prize. They went to the DARPA website. I know soldiers that have brain chips. I have family that was implanted eight, nine years ago with under the skin chip. But they sit there and they tell you none of this is going on. None of this is happening. And I don't mean some chip because you've got epilepsy that simply picks up your brain activity when you're about to have a seizure and, and, and controls it. I'm talking about stuff that controls basically everything you're doing and that can kill you when they want to. Okay, I kind of got bogged down in that area of stories. Um, maybe I should just start over with these headlines right now. Under pressure, McConnell pushed to resign as Senate Majority Leader. GOP discontent that helped sink John Boehner isn't easing up. Wall Street Journal. Here's the financial news. 17.4 million Americans hit by identity theft last year. 66% of victims suffered direct financial loss. Just gets exponentially worse, all by design to make you go to biometrics, which has also been hacked already. They had a hack of 5.6 million FBI fingerprints last week, by design, of course. It's the FBI that's always releasing most of the major Trojans, most of the major worms, most of the major problems. Dow Jones industrial average drops as Wall Street weighs Federal Reserve uncertainty looming government shutdown. Federal Reserve officials could provide more clues as to the timing of the central bank's inevitable rate hike. What recovery? 9.4 million more Americans below poverty line than pre-crisis 2008. Spain. Pro-secession parties in Catalonia win landmark vote to begin process to secede. It's the, basically the only productive area of Spain now. Every house, I, almost every house I walked by when I was in Catalonia and Barcelona, it's in that state, in that region. They're not really Spanish, they're not really French. They want out of there. They want out from under socialism. They're really cool people. I really like the folks in Catalonia. And uh, Spain saying, we're not going to recognize that. <laughs> oh, really? What are you going to do when like 80% of people stop following your orders? You're going to do nothing. You have no power, New World Order, the minute we take it back from you. The minute we hate your stinking, rotten, criminal, filthy, maggot-filled guts. Oh, here's another big story. Washington Post, how the American government is trying to control what you think. And they admit that there's massive propaganda 
and massive manipulation and CIA psychiatrist teams running